Welcome back to Matty Ice Reviews. And tonight, guys, we are going to be getting another snack. It's about time. I know I'm slacking off on snacks and I'm just doing drinks lately. But let's get ourselves a snack. Tonight's snack is going to be from Pringles. Yes, the stackable chips that we love and our, our hands are made just like this so they can go straight in and pull out a whole bunch and shove them in our gullet. I love Pringles. I like most of the flavors, uh, particularly cheddar, sour cream and cheese, and dill pickle, one of their best flavors. So when I saw this flavor, I thought it sounds interesting. It sounds weird. I want to try it because it's just, there's something about it that just hit me and I was like, yes. Now I do love picking up these at uh, the grocery store for dinner. They're cheap, they're tasty, and they've got that good salty kind of flavor that's got enough depth to it to keep you coming back for more. So tonight's flavor of Pringles will be rotisserie chicken. Look at that guys, beautiful bird right there. <laughs> Who doesn't love a good rotisserie chicken, whether it be from Costco or your local grocery store, you get them for like five, six bucks. You can feed a, you know, a family with a couple of them. They're cheap, they're easy. You can take the meat and turn it into just about anything. So rotisserie seasoning is hard to pin down. It's salty, it's got a depth of flavor that's not easy to pin down, but it is oh so good. And I'm a huge fan of rotisserie chicken. And I thought Pringles sounds like a good way to go with it. Salty snack with a little bit of something extra there. So let's uh, look at the back and see what it says. Now it does say that these are artificially flavored. So unfortunately they didn't grind up a whole bunch of rotisserie chicken and sprinkle them on here. So and we'll have to deal with that. Okay, we'll do calories per serving. 150 calories per serving, nine grams of total fat, zero milligrams of cholesterol, good to know. 210 milligrams of sodium, 16 grams of carbs, only one gram of dietary fiber in there though, one gram of protein. What else is in here? 2% uh, two, two potassium, 110 milligrams. Cool. For all you people who like your potassium, here's a good place to get it. I'm sure there's other places, but anyway, ingredients, dried potatoes, vegetable oil, dehydrated yellow corn flour, corn starch, rice flour, maldextrin, mono and diglycerides, 2% of caramel color, hydrolyzed corn protein, brown sugar and buttermilk, monosodium, yeast, onion powder, yeast extract, spices, garlic, coconut oil, citric acid, natural flavors, paprika, my God, to sodium and cyanate, to sodium Golane date, whatever that is, sodium cassinate, my God, paprika extract color, and wheat starch. Wow, that is a lot of ingredients. I mean, look at this paragraph that I had to read. That is crazy. I didn't think there'd be that many ingredients in here. Okay, so anyway, um, this is from Kellogg's. So that's that's cool. Thanks, Kellogg's. Pop off the top, and we'll pull the foil. Ooh, nice pop. Hmm. So initial smell, ramen-y. Chicken ramen, kind of salty, a little bit of chicken bouillon kind of, you know, thing going on. You know what I'm saying? Nice looking chips. Let's pull one out and see if they have that color. Cause it did say a lot of things like paprika extract and caramel color, which, which would be nice, but I don't see a whole lot of color on these. Okay. Um, there's, there is seasoning on here, but it's the same color as the chip, basically. So let's just give one a try. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Interesting. Again, uh, I can see seasoning on here, but it's, it's just not coming up on camera because it's so light. All right. Nice little stack right here to try. We got five of them. Let's, uh, let's crunch into it. Very misleading. That is not rotisserie chicken. It is ramen -y, and it's also got the same flavor as you would find in like a barbecue chip. So I think it's a little bit closer to barbecue chicken 
um, but almost kind of like you, know, you cook chicken on the on the grill and you had that barbecue kind of flavor there. It's just, uh, it's not rotisserie chicken. Yes, it's very close. It's a very good chip. I like it. It's a pleasant flavor. It's just not rotisserie chicken. I'm kind of mixed on this one, guys. I really like it, but I think they could have named it something else. I don't think the name is accurate, so. I recommend trying it, though. It is an interesting flavor and it is very tasty, so. All right, guys. That does it for this one. We'll catch you next time. Have a good night.